It's a cold one out there today, so it might be surprising to hear that today marks the closest approach to the sun. What close? You'd think it'd be warm, right? Well, let's talk about it. It's called perihelion day, and it happens because Earth doesn't orbit around the sun in a perfect circle. So there are going to be times where it's closer and times where it's farther away. And it just happens to be closer each and every year during the first week of January. So why is it that gets cold out? Well, of course, it has to do with our seasons. And on the first day of winter, the northern hemisphere is tilted most far from the sun's rays. So, you know, the Arctic Circle totally dark for months and months at a time, not seeing a sunrise until March. That can definitely allow some cold air to build in. So the fact that our planet is a little bit closer to the sun during the winter time in the northern hemisphere, that doesn't play a very huge role in our weather patterns. Now, how close are we talking? 91.4 million miles. That's actually a 4 million mile difference than our farthest approach during our summertime in the northern hemisphere. When we're tilted toward the sun, we're getting plenty of daylight and that allows warm air to build and stay in place. So on July 4th, when we're at our farthest approach at 94.5 million miles from the sun, I can promise you it's going to be hot outside. And that date is called aphelion. For News 19, I'm meteorologist Alex Calamia.